Good afternoon, folks. This is Kimberly Jessica reporting in live today from Hollywood, California on the Glam Reports radio show on iHeartRadio. And I am super excited because you know what? You know when they say the doctor's in the house, it's like just a sense of relief. You know, because it's like you know when the doctor's here, everything is going to be all right. It's going to work out. And this particular doctor is a bold, authentic, loving, shaking and moving thought leader that helps women go from poverty to profit in one session. She's amazing. She's smart. She's beautiful. She has, you can catch her in the Huffington Post. You can catch her on iTunes. You can catch her on Marie Claire and now on iHeartRadio. She's done so much in the world of helping women and helping people transform from failure to triumph, from sadness to happiness, from poverty to profit, from sadness to to peace and joy. She is that girl. You know how in the 80s Madonna would be like, who's that girl? I still remember that song. I almost wish I could throw that in there. I think I'm going to throw that in there, too. Who's that girl? Because Dr. Missy Johnson. Dr. Johnson, how are you today? I am fantabulous. Fantabulous. And don't forget beautiful, too. Thank you so much, Kimberly. Thank you so much. Well, we didn't we didn't know. Know. Thank you. <laughs> I love you, Dr. Missy. You're the bomb. You guys have got to see Dr. Missy. Like when you think, any anytime you think of any type of like Atlanta Housewives, Beverly Hills Housewives, New, you know, uh, um, Potomac Housewives, Housewives of Potomac, think Dr. Miss, Missy Johnson. That's how she looks. She is a housewife, glamorous, beauty, down to earth. Sarita Jake's kind of feel, but with the housewife look where, you know, she has the glamour and the beauty, but at the same time, she has the soul and the spirit to help you become the best version of yourself that you can possibly can. She is a way shower. Dr. Missy Johnson, please share with us what is currently going on with you today, because we are so stoked to have you on. It's like, this is huge. Well, I would tell you, Kimberly, it's so many things that are going on with me. You know, it's just like a flower. Just imagine a flower when you, matter of fact, let me say a rose. When you have a rose and when you buy the rose, sometimes it's closed up. But, you know, if you put like a little bit of sunlight on it and just let it sit for a while and get that vitamin E and it starts blossoming, well, that is what's going on with me. My life is blossoming, you know, but it didn't happen overnight. You know, I'm I'm speaking, you know, in different places all over the United States. I am empowering women to go from fear to fearless. I'm giving them 21 ways to improve their life. I'm showing them how to be in their authentic self. Wow. So basically you're, you're helping them become bold, authentic vulnerable leaders, basically. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, what happens a lot of times, we get all these programs, these this coaching and mastermind, you know, and guess what? It all works. It all works. But what happens is that we fail to do the work. We fail to do the work as mm-hmm. individuals. We do the work for everybody else, for our family, for our mother, our father, our husband, our sister, our brother, you know, the church members, the other members, you know, other call members. We do all that work for them, but we don't do it for ourselves. So the first thing that I show women how to do is to tap into the mindset, tap into that thing between those two ears, the mindset piece that is so essential as you are moving forward as you are going from poverty to profits, you're going to have to mm. tap into that mindset piece first. Dr. Missy, what you said was so true. They are not, you know, they're not reaching their peak performance because of basically failing to show up for life. Life is one big classroom. And if you fail to show up for class, you're not going to pass. And basically what I'm hearing is, Dr. Missy, is that you're helping women show up for class. That class is their life. 
that class is yeah. their life, where they are there to learn as much as they possibly can about this wonderful project called themselves. Absolutely. You know, when we when you talked about, you know, poverty to profit, you know, in one day, you know, when people hear poverty to profit, they automatically think of dollars. And guess what? The dollars is very essential. Matter of fact, you got to have money in order to have a better life. But what I want women to understand that poverty to, to profit is also the mindset piece. You can have a poverty mm. mindset. And if you have a mm. poverty mindset, what's going to happen when you get to those profits? You're not going to know what to do. Because guess what? You're just going to mm. blow it all on, on one thing. So you have to so have there's multiple poverty. components in that poverty to, prof- to, to profits uh, program. Basically, there's multiple oh, absolutely. Basically, you're teaching them how to fish as well. Absolutely. You know, when I was coming up, you know, they would always say when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. I was like, what are they talking about? The student is ready, the teacher will appear. But you know what? After everything I've gone through, I promise you, I know what that means now. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Because when the student is ready, that means that they are ready to do the work. Mm. You see what you just said? They are ready. So the important thing, Dr. Missy, is what I'm hearing back from you is you got to do the work. Oh, my God. The work is understatement. And the thing is, we do the work every day. You know, some people have jobs, and they might not consider, I go to work. They say, I go to work. But what you're not understanding, and you're going to work, you're doing the work. Because when you get to that place of where you're working to, you just not sitting there at that desk. You are doing the work. That's just how life is. Life operates on an axis. When you think of Earth, when I was a little girl, you know, in science, I love science. You know, well, I didn't like all oh, parts of science. And this part I got. When the Earth operates on an axis, it's going around 365 days of the year. When you're in life, your life is going around in a circle 365 days of the year. The question I have for you, what are you doing from day to day? What axis are you operating on in your life when you're going from fear to fearless? Mm. What operating system are you oper- what system are you operating in when you are going from poverty to profits? Yes, baby, we're going to get the money. We're going to get to the money. We're going to get there. But before we get to the money, we got to get to that poverty mindset and open it up so you can blossom like that rose. Wow. That's really powerful. Can you give us a little bit of, 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 of uh, an, uh, in, in, you know, uh, in a minute or less, what brought you to the place that you are now where you are able to help women from a personal experience? Yes. I mean, it's so many things. I'll give you one. This is the thing that I, I, I found out. You know, I listen to Tony Robbins, and I listen to a lot of visionary thought leaders. And one thing that I discovered within myself is that personal development and spiritual development operates on the same axis. I'm going to say it again. Personal development and spiritual development operates on the same axis. Now, I serve God. Some people may serve a higher power other than God, and it's okay because I don't knock anyone from doing what they, who they serve other than their higher power. But what brought me to this point is when there was a collision in my life between personal development and physical, personal development and spiritual development. And when those two collided in my life, that's when I woke up to purpose. Mm. Can you give us a little bit of a sample of what it means, the difference between personal development and spiritual development? Absolutely. It's mind, body, and spirit. Personal development is your mind, how you think. What happens to how you think, your body is going to react to what your thoughts are, whether you are in a conscious state or the unconscious state. 
So now that your mind has aligned with your body, now your soul needs to have that connection. And that's when the spiritual peace comes in. So now the soul, the body, and the mind, it has, it has to all be in alignment. If you are un- congru- if you are incongruent and unbalanced, then you are not going to have the real authentic itself, the authentic personal development, the authentic spiritual development. You have to have balance in order to live in your authentic purpose. And when you start aligning the spirit, the mind, and the body with your personal and your spiritual development, that's when you start living in your authentic purpose. And that's when you can go in the transition mode from fears to fearless, which is my theme. And that's when you can go from poverty to profits. You have to have total alignment. Wow. Wow. So, Dr. Missy, what is coming up for you that you would like the world to know about? That's powerful what you just said. I can't even add to that because you just, you know, you just put a period after that. That's powerful. Well, thank you so much. What's coming up for me, I have speaking engagements coming all over the country, and you can visit me at www.askdrmissy.com. That's A-S-K, askdrmissy.com. You can also, if it's all right, if I can give out my email. Absolutely. Well, they can email Absolutely. me, sure, at A-S-K, askdrmissy at gmail.com. They can also find me. And on Facebook, you know, people, they're on Facebook, they're looking, searching, seeking, and finding. Well, guess what? I just answered all the questions for you. Looking, searching, seeking, and finding. You can find me at Dr. Missy Johnson. You can find me at Break Free Coach on Facebook. Dr. Missy Johnson on Facebook. You can inbox me. And last but not least, what's coming up for me is that I'm so just like bananas about is that I'm having my First conference, you know, I'm the kind of person, I'm the kind of girl, you know, I don't mind getting my hands dirty. I'll help you with what you do, help you with what you do. But and guys, her like, hands are so dainty and beautiful, and she's so delicate and pretty and powerful. Just like hands dirty, you can't even imagine that. But go ahead, Dr. Missy. <laughs> yes, you know, I'm, but you know, that's my spirit. I, I'm, I have a giving spirit. I have a helping spirit because guess what you know Kimberly I didn't get here by myself you know people have a mindset I had a mindset of perfectionist patty is what I would call her everything that had to be perfect everything had to be blinged out swinged out and all kind of out but what I understand in life is that you have to take a stand and what's coming up for me how I took a stand on everyone else's conference everyone else's programs is I have my own called Fearless Women Rock, and that's coming up in August. I know it may sound like a long ways away, but what happens, you see all the glitz and the glam, like walking a red carpet, but there is a lot of work behind the scenes, and I'm just so bananas about it. It's called Fearless Women Rock. Hashtag, I am a fearless woman. Wow, that is super Powerful coming up in August, and can you tell us where it's going to be, Dr. Missy? Absolutely, it will be the weekend of August 11th and 12th. It will be held in the wonderful city of Detroit, Michigan. I am straight up out of Detroit. They say straight out of Compton. I'm straight up out of Detroit. I know you out there in the Hollywood, California, and you know you have Compton, but I'm straight up out of Detroit, and we keep things it. real here up in the day. What do you know? That's 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 Motor City, isn't that Motown too? That is Motown. That's where all the the um, Diamond Walls, the Sophie Robinson, the Miracles, the Temptations. This is the this is the founder land for Motown Records. Wow, Dr. Missy, you are a legend in your own time. That is super powerful, Dr. Missy. We just want to thank you here on your radio for interviewing with us today. You are such a beautiful person. I'm so honored to know you. I'm so glad we had this interview. And I can't wait to run through your Poverty to Profit, you know, program. It, 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 it's life-changing, mind-changing, soul-changing. And, mo- and money-changing. Because we're going to change. Yes. We're going to make some money. 
Yes, I love it, Dr. Missy. You are so wonderful. I can't wait to work with you and go through this program. Thank you so much for interviewing with us today, Dr. Missy. Thank you so much for having me. And, you know, just one more time, if you would like to inbox me at Facebook, that is Break Free Coach, Dr. Missy Johnson. That's my business page. And you can also visit me on my website at www.askdrmissy.com, askdrmissy.com. And, you know, guys, you can ask her how much this program costs when you email her because this this program is amazing, and I can't wait, you know, when she comes back soon to share the details and break this program down even further and offer. Do you have any special offers you want to do, Dr. Missy, or, you know, uh, you know, give any last tidbits on, on the property to, to profit program? Yes. The last tip is, you know, inbox me, and I will tell you all about the program. And the last tip that I want to give you is that, you know, this journey that I'm on, you know, I just didn't start on this, like, overnight. People say, well, there are overnight sensation. No. I put in the work. I paid my dues. I shed mm-hmm. my tears. I was on my knees praying, asked God to show me what to do, because I'm a very authentic person, very transparent person, because I know that at this time, you know, Kimberly, in closing, is that God has assigned a divine people to me. And what I learned is that not to take things personal because sometimes people take things personal in their business. I don't worry about the how. That's a tidbit. As you're going from poverty to profits, as you're going from fear to fearless, don't worry about the how. The how. Just truly stand in your power and know that you have an assignment because your spiritual alignment and your personal alignment has lined up. And when you do that, you can stand in your power and be your authentic self. Wow, Dr. Missy, that is super powerful. Again, guys, you have the famous Dr. Missy. The doctor is in the house, guys. You will get better soon because the doctor is here. We are so proud and thankful that we have the famous Dr. Missy on the line with us. Uh, Dr. Missy, we look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you so much for being you, for being a way shower, and for being a catalyst for change. God bless you, Dr. Missy. Thank you so much for being with us today on High Art Radio. I Heart Radio. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am.